it's console time! I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really, really excited for no other reason than like, it's just been too long, man. It's been way too long. Uh, we've been sitting on, on this generation of consoles for like seven years? Brr. New products, new products. Uh, so here's box. It's it's about as wide as a, actually I, ha I have a, hold on. Here, here's a 1X. Um, it is, oh, please God, don't let me drop anything heavy during this because that would be incredible. All right, oof. So it's, it's exactly just as wide when it's on its side. Um, it's exactly as wide, which is pretty cool because that means anywhere you have uh, a Series X or, uh, or sorry, anywhere, oh God, fucking Microsoft's branding. Anywhere you have a 1X or a 1S, this can go. Both Sony and Microsoft have gone out of their way to put massive air cooling uh, solutions into both consoles. And I really appreciate that because the bigger the fan is, the quieter it is. And this is actually much, much, much quieter. I mean, the thing that I like also about the Series X is that, I mean, it doesn't look interesting at all. It really doesn't. Uh, it's just a big box, but that means it can go anywhere. It's got a little pad on the bottom. I don't know if you can, can you take that off? If it's on its side, I don't need this, but it's also pretty small to begin with. So I'm gonna mess with that later, but here's your box. Here's your console. Uh, so this is the front. It's got little feeties on this side, little rubber feet, so it sits. It doesn't rock around much. I like that the drive bay is on the top. So if you ever want to put a disc into it, you don't have to reach down to the bottom of it. It's got a little like divot in there. So if you miss, it'll just guide it on in. And then uh, sync and eject USB on the bottom, which eh, that's probably smarter so that you don't have a cord, you know, water falling over the entirety of your console. It's just on the bottom. And on the back, all the plugs are on one extreme side and they're on the base. So either way, the cords are going to be nice and clustered towards one side. It's not spread across the entire unit. I'm, I'm a big function over form kind of guy. Yeah, Dan, it's, it, it's sensible. Uh, the, the green accents in the top are, are kind of cute, uh, especially just the, vis the, the viewing angle on it is kind of neat. Uh, that's, that's cool. It's not something you're really ever going to see. What well, games are out at launch? Uh, oof. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, Yakuza, like a dragon, is probably the biggest one. All right, here comes the boot. You ready for this? Did you hear the chirp? I don't know if I was timing it properly. It's a cool sound. The, uh, the boot up is nice and, nice and resonant. It's kind of like shades of that, uh, that PlayStation, PlayStation, like PlayStation 1 boot that's just so warm and has such wonderful audio. What's pretty cool, it supports 1440p. Uh, that's what it's in right now because my gaming monitor is 1440p and that's what it's running through. Okay, so games games are coming, I promise. Controller though, there's really not that much different, um, which you may have already seen. Uh, same button layouts, it's got a share button now. I could take or leave that. I mean, it's nice to have. Yeah, the D-pad is much, much clickier. So let me... Yeah, so th those are switches. Um, basically nothing is rubber mats anymore. At least it doesn't feel like it. And then, yeah, the D-pad is now a disc with, with raised D, uh, like the raised D-pad edges. I really like the feeling of it. It feels really good to rest your thumb in there. The backs of the grips are slightly textured, which again is like the Elite. I'm trying to, I don't know if my camera's gonna pull focus on that. I'd have to get pretty, uh, it's kind of close. Why does it still use AAA or AA batteries? Because I've, uh, everyone, I can understand the sentiment of an integrated battery seeming better. It's like, oh, it's a complete unit. I just plug it in and that's it. Um, I like batteries way better because if the internal battery dies, you have to plug it in and you have to, yeah, it is USB-C by the way. Uh, you have to plug it in and you have to like charge it with the right port, with the right controller. Batteries you can use, rechargeables. Those aren't rechargeable, but uh, so like for me, there we go. Batteries, you can use rechargeables. So if, uh, if my controller dies, I just get up swap batteries and I'm at full charge, no cord. Okay, uh, so let's start, let's start noodling around with some games. Uh, let's see, what? There's unfortunately a couple games I cannot play because they're under embargo still, specifically Yakuza. So I can't say anything about Like a Dragon yet. Uh, but there are plenty of other games that basically run, run on the Series X. Uh, let's see, let's, let's get into some more modern stuff. So, I've never run this game on this this console before. How long is it going to take? 
the UI similar to that of the past gen Xbox One? Yes, and in, in fact, if you have an Xbox One now, the UI there has been patched to look exactly like this. A hell of a lot. I have some, I have some weird, I have some weird ideas about the UI now. Sky in my dreams. They've gone, on, they've gone from square tiles to rounded corners again, which doesn't make sense to me because the Series X is the most square thing that's ever been square. So it's almost like we're going to like mid 2000s UI again. All the tiles that now have rounded corners. These guys down here have rounded corners. They still have kind of this two tone two tone design that they've had for like the last five years, but this one is uh, yeah, it's it's strange to me. Um, a little strange to me that they went with the like rounded look again. But you know whatever. I guess you got to mix it up. That's that's all I can read is that they just changed it to change it. Um, I kind of liked how like two-dimensional and square uh the previous the previous design was but it is nice like oh, look at how fast that is go home bang there you are go back to play black click resume how quick yeah it's just gunshots it's the hardest game ever made uh another newer game what's a big game a newer, bigger game. I guess Forza, yeah, let's do that. Want to see the gameplay? Oh, for Ace Combat? We have to get there in 30 second bits and pieces while impulsively switching around between everything else. Speed run the loading screens. Yeah, it's like, it's still not quite like PC with an NVMe drive, but man, it's so much more civilized. So much more. With the Series X now, finally, the console experience is, it's, it's just so much nicer in general to not, you know, the loading isn't there. The like, I was hitting this problem before, trying to play Rock Band. It's just, just launching a game for some reason would just take forever. You don't know why. It really feels like you get a Series X for access to a ton of games that all run very well. You get a PS5 for access to Demon Souls and Spider-Man and Bug Snacks, uh, which feels more like a next-gen system, right? I'd like to see Wasteland 3. All right, let me let me install that. Uh, I might have to I might have to free up some space. That's the other I mean you can call it an issue if you like. I would actually I'm at uh 99%. 99%. I have a fair amount of games downloaded. Uh a fair amount, but still um 45 games. 45 games installed kind of spread across big and small titles. That's not a very small amount, nor is it necessarily the hugest amount of uh, storage. Uh, I think it's one terabyte, but you know, you don't have the entire terabyte of usable space. I feel like one terabyte's enough for now. Um, expansion storage is pretty expensive. It's like, what, 250, 300 for another terabyte? Um, yeah, 802 gigabytes is what you've got. So. All right, let's see, how let's see this load. Oh, that bar, though. Okay, hold on. Oh! I'm, I'm already a little antsy right now. By now, I'm like, little bit, come on. <laughs> that That's how burned out I've been on my P on, on just seeing PC loads, but... Ah, oh, London. What a town. So I think there's, uh, I think there's a lot of validity to the, the kind of the the marketing beats that Xbox has been has been putting out about. Uh, is this 30 FPS? Is this is this the peasant peasant 30? It's not. E it's even in 1080. What's that all about? Um, I think there's a lot of validity to. Um, that hurt you more than it hurt me. Microsoft talking about the UI being snappier, quick resume is is pretty nice. The um, just just the the deep backwards compatibility that they've really really they don't shoot me they really dove into them. how's that um, that's very nice. It's it's pretty nice to to turn on a console and feel like every game you've bought and all your like saves and all that stuff is just there automatically. Where's the Ace Combat Five gameplay? Let's find out. <laughs> ah, I missed it. There. Oh, I think that finally pushed out quick resume. All right, we did it. Too many games. Nope, nope. Me, it's back. Grandpa and his old war buddies. This is the Series X, yeah. Does it use the 360 head when you play 360 games? Yes. 
So you have to, you can open the 360 guide. Oh, I got a message! Huh? Now playing with the Xbox Game Pass, Rainbow Six Siege. They sent that like a few days ago. Cool. See ya. Holy crap, that is super high resolution. This is, is this running at 1080? It must be. Oh my gosh, this actually looks pretty legit. I was thinking about playing 13 again on PC, but that's kind of the thing is, is PC has always been my platform of choice when it comes to multi-platform. But now that Series X is dropping in a ton of like old game brush-ups and stuff, it's tempting to, to think about it that way. So as far as I can tell, these three things is the, is the extent of like the ad placement. This specifically, this one on the right, this little square here. That is sold ad space on the main screen that you cannot get away from. Uh, but beyond that, uh, and I kind of showed this before, you can sort of customize the rails um, that are vertical down the, the main screen. Um, so some of them can be a little advertising, you know, if you have the store thing in there, which I, I'm pretty sure it's there by default. There's going to be things there for like, oh, buy this thing. That's just what a store is, you know. But you can you can take it away, and then you just now it just has custom suggestions. Uh, so uh, it's been worse in the past. Um, ideally, if you pay money for a console, you won't look at any stupid fucking advertisements when you watch it. And if you're paying for an online service for that console, ideally you also wouldn't look at any stupid fucking advertisements when you launch it. But unfortunately, that's the way of the world, and uh, can't get around it. Not a, not a whole lot of surprises in the settings themselves. A lot of this stuff is, uh, yeah, it's, it fetches that again. Um, you can set your chosen accent color, which is kind of neat. Uh, you can change the transparency of the tiles. So let's see. Let's see what they look like super transparent. Oh! I can see more of Kiryu just completely annihilating this man. So that's something. Overall worth it though. Will you do a re review of thoughts later? That's kind of what this is. It's it's a really hard to say without talking about games that will be on it. Because those are all under embargo right now. Um, for me, uh, I really like... I really like this console. So yeah, the uh, I guess I guess in conclusion, Demon Tilt is actually really fun. I've been I've been playing it here and there. Demon Tilt. Uh, in conclusion, it it is so much quality of life stuff that has that has made my experience with the Series X over the last week or so really really great. Um, I I enjoy it a lot. It's it's finally taken away all of the frustration, the like typical frustrations I have. Uh, with console gaming, yeah, things load so fast. You can you can just be so impulsive about it, um, and the UI like doesn't drop frames all the time and doesn't hang up and hitch up in weird spots. With Game Pass and extensive backwards compatibility, it makes the Series X a bit. Uh, it makes it a way better value value proposition for me. But uh, it doesn't have those big blockbuster. Um, doesn't have those big blockbuster uh, exclusives because that's just not where it's at. But yeah, these loads, just and it's ready.